couldn't tell you why they chose me, really. I suppose they just wanted a real Londoner, you know. You free? Oh, yeah, if there's a question there to be asked, I won't pull no punches. Hello, mate. Hi, Tony. How you doing, Stephen? Oh. I'm all right, thank you very much. Yeah, fine. Don't talk to anyone the same, you know, whether it's a ragman or royalty. Hi. That's Jenny Bond, isn't it? Oh, uh, yes, it is. Pop in, let's have a chat about oh, London. Oh, thanks. So, Jenny, what's the biggest story you've covered, do you think, in your career? I always thought that the death of Diana was going to be uh, the biggest, and it was huge, of course. But I have to say, to my own surprise, I think the death of the Queen Mother was even bigger. I mean, and, uh, what I couldn't get about that, I mean, I love the old girl, but what I couldn't get about it is every time you read in the paper, oh, didn't the Queen Mum have a lovely smile? She, she looked like she had a mouthful of sweet corn. I mean, how'd they make that up? Well, she did have a nice smile, it's just that... But it's um, all yellow. Well, you know, she was 101. Yeah, but she's got all these, like, top doctors and that around her. Well, you we're know, just coming to Clarence. They sorted it out. Clarence well, House here, though, there. All like... that powder, she looked like a travel sweep. One of these is the Department of Health. That is where the egg thing happened, isn't it? The egg thing happened. Do you regret it now? No, no, no. I tell you what, it didn't bother me at all because I'm actually allergic to eggs. I can't. <laughs> I can't. You're allergic to eggs. Oh no, I can't eat them. About a year ago, I was in this cafe and I asked for a bacon roll, and this bird put a bit of bloody egg in the bottom of it, didn't he? Right, so I'm coming out in this rash. Oh wow. It's all over me legs, up me arms, all over me genitalia, all me scrotum. It was like scratching away like a dog I was. And I tell you, I got a touch of the run something chronic. That was coming out of me like lava. It was like rusty water, food poisoning, you know? And I was I was stranded, right? Because I was going by King's Cross. I went into one of those public loos, one of those ones with that awful greaseproof paper. You can't get no purchase on it. It's like trying to wipe your bum on an A to Z, do you know what I mean? Hey, I'm, you're gonna spoil my dinner. Prime. Yeah. Rising crime figures in London yeah. are a disgrace. Yeah. What are we going to do about it? Well, I, t I mean, uh, first of all, I really think this place is in danger of becoming, well, just unlivable in it if we don't do something about crime. I was talking to this fellow about this the other day, Lambeth, right? Yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it is the highest crime level in London. One of, sir. Yeah, right. And I was saying to him, right, you know that song they're doing a Lambeth walk? Yeah. It should now be any time you're Lambeth way, any evening, any day, you'll find us all getting mugged and raped. The rhyme's not terribly good, is it? Really? Well, it's a bloody you're truth, though, isn't it? That. It's the first place my wife wanted to see when she came over. You know, she, she says to me, I want to go and see Down in the Street first. I thought, fair enough, you know. Are you happily married? Yeah, yeah. That's her there, Kim. She's Thai, she is. She's an amazing girl. Looks very nice. Yeah, she'll do anything she will. I comes home from the cab. She's got me dinner on a tray already. She's got the football tune into the telly. Then at full time, she'll come swanning downstairs in something simple. And she's like, fancy something for my sweet trolley, you know. How old is she? She's 19. What is the most romantic place in London, Jenny? The most romantic place for me is getting home. North London, I suppose. Um, but. Uh, what do you think is the most romantic place? For me, I always say Heathrow Airport. Uh -huh. Yeah, why? Because that's where Kim flew in when she came over. Uh -huh. And we booked into one of those airport hotels, uh -huh. um, the Ramada. Well, as we call it now, the Ram Harder. We had a bit of a night at it. And uh, what we did afterwards, like, we got in a couple of bottles of Coke and some pizzas and just sat there watching the planes. It was handsome, actually. Hey. If you were like going to have a classic night out in London, what would you do, Edwina? Favourite evening would be coming in and going to the theatre. Is that, is that your thing? Wonderful. Do you really like the theatre? Love it. I can't get my head around that, mate. Don't you like being transported? Don't you like being taken out of yourself? Well, yeah, I like Put all into that. Put into a know? different world. That's why I go up with Spurs. <laughs> Spurs, and I'm always getting, oh, you'll have Glenn Oddle more than me, she says her little voice. I say, I say, I put it this way, right? If Glenn Oddle, right, looked half decent in a miniskirt and he could cook and he could get his legs back behind his neck, she'd be on the first plane back to Bangkok, I say to her. She don't like it. She don't like it. 